Okay, so this is still Gabby who is shaking terribly still. But I want to do claws and paws on her because this is November Nails. And so she's a Cocker Spaniel. I'm pretty sure King Charles, but here we go with these Cocker pads. Hers are little. She's a girl, and she's, I'm pretty sure King Charles, which becomes smaller. Um, but you can see all that matting in there. I mean, there's just a ton of it. You always want to get this out after you've bathed them because that way you can loosen up all that fur, get all that grime out. And now you're only doing this, having to do it once. So usually I do nails first on her. I'm going to get these pads out of the way because they're so full and I can get her nail a little easier that way. This again is my 10 Andes. If you have a 15, it would get a closer cut. A 30 would get a really close one. If you have some really super heavy matting, super heavy matting, then use a 30, but be really careful with it because it does cut a lot closer, but it'll get that matting out. Anyway, I'm going with the 10. And I'm going to just, I pulled all that fur out. I want to go over the top of it. It's not dry, it's still damp. So you generally do this with dry. Dry it works out a little easier. But I'm going to get down in here and I'm scoop that out. Just be careful that you don't, you know, it's just really kind of hard to cut anything other than fur as long as you're careful so I'm gonna dig in there again now I got that leveled out really nicely but because she's a cocker I didn't just level it I want to get all that fur out there they're set up for a lot of fur on these paws okay, I don't want to mess with that too much more because this is our time I'm gonna get some scissors I know I'm reaching in front of the camera I'm gonna get some scissors I just want to clean it up a little better her nail is in my way. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is get her nails because look at that. They're nice and black. So these are the kind of nails that again are intimidating. I want to get that hair out of your way because I don't want anything to obstruct the vision here. These dark nails can be really intimidating for new groomers especially. Um, and I don't have a lot to work on with this either. I'm going to grab some clippers, some nail clippers in my Dremel. It's always good to Dremel afterwards because it smoothed that nail down. All right, here's my first one. I don't have much to go on with this nail at all. I don't even hardly have a bend at the bottom of it. And I'm going through her nails, and I don't really have a bend at the bottom of any of these, all right? But I know that they need to be clipped because the vet didn't do it last time. So I, I don't know where to go, right? I'm, I'm really at a loss here. This is the first one that I've done that's on a loss. I'm going to start with a simple clip at the end. I want to see about where I can go here. Okay, i got plenty of room left. There's no white, hardly any white showing at all so far. I'm going to go just a little bit more. I'm going to use this one nail to measure and judge all the rest of my nails because I can't see through them. So here, I'm looking at a little hole there. It would kind of be the beginning of that vessel, but I'm not there. I'm going to take a shot in the dark here, and it is going a little more. There's a hole. Okay, I can start seeing that hole. The next thing I want to do is dremel it. I'm just doing one nail here so I know what I can measure the rest of them on. I'm going to take my dremel. I want to roll it back and forth. The dremel gets hot, creates friction. The friction creates heat. So you want to be careful of that, maybe... Take little caps on it if you need to. But if you hold it full force on a nail, it, it burns. Now she'll probably start letting me know when I've gone far enough that she's going to start pulling back on me. And I would think that's going to be any second. Let's take a look at that nail again. So I'm still looking at, you can see the hole starting. Cockers are renowned for longer nails, so don't expect to be able to bring that back as far as you really would like it to go. I'm stopping there with that nail. This is my first time I've groomed her. Now I got that first nail to work off of. Now I'm really going to take a shot in the dark here. If I hit the quick, we'll know and I'll show you what to do. I'm just taking a shot in the dark. I moved back further that time. I can see that I still have room. So I'm going to take it back even a little further, not much. Alright, the nail looks a little long still. 
So I don't want to do anything more to it though. So this I'm going to take my Dremel again. And see how much further I can come back. All I'm doing is rolling it back and forth. All I'm doing is rolling it back and forth. Trying to take this nail down as much as I can. Because the only time they get clipped is when she sees me. Like I said, the vet forgot to do this. Alright, now you saw that, right? I'm not going any further. That's it. I took that back as far as it'll go. Now, you see that? That hole, there it is again. That's the hole you're looking for. Don't move past it. Sometimes it's a white hole. Sometimes it's a dark hole. She's got dark nails. It's a dark hole. Let's move on to the next one. Now watch. We're going to get this one done even quicker because I got something to measure on. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm taking it. We're done. Now that one I got. Again. I'm roll it apart. Cross. I just want to bring that down as far back as I can. As close as I can. And smooth it. Because jagged nails can tear skin. And an older person can cause an infection. So you just, out of courtesy, do this. She's got one last nail. Then I'm going to finish up this foot. Because I want to get it all on film. And then I'm going to move on. Because you don't want to see 15 nails getting done. Okay, make sure we got it really good, Luke. I could go back further. I'm going to use my Dremel to do it. Or actually, let's do it. This is quicker with clippers. I'm going again. I don't think I feel comfortable going any further. <laughs> Hang on. Can you see that all right, Luke? Barely. We'll back it up a little. It's really hard to see what I'm doing, I know. Okay, the next thing I want to do is clean up these pads even more. Because she's a Cocker Spaniel. And I don't see the scissors I'm looking for, so I'll just use these. We're just leveling it down some more. Plan on spending extra time. I charge more for Cocker Spaniels than I do for um, Shih Tzus or... Uh, yeah, yeah, other medium-sized dogs like her because they have so much fur in these pads and you really got to pay particular attention. That fur gets stinky, it gathers, it collects um, dirt and odor and um, then they start fussing with their paws, chewing at them. It's just cu customer owners really like that fur down and leveled and, and actually dug out. So you can be... You can just level, but I'm just saying, if that's all that you do is level it and go, I'm done, my job's done, I do what I'm supposed to do. If there's matting in there, extra fur in there, you got to get that all out of there because that's all impeding um, their movement and also inhibiting skin tissue generation regeneration. So you want to get all that out of there. Okay, so that's her pad and it's looking pretty good, her whole paw. Come around, see her paw, the whole thing looks real nice. You saw how long that took me on her cocker paw, and each one goes the same. They're all, they're all um, time-consuming. Okay, thank you so much for signing off.